Welcome to the Muse Cage Basketball Network. A game of stars. The best of the best. The best shooters, the best dunkers, the best of tomorrow, and the best of yesterday. All come together for one weekend where the basketball world stops spinning. And the NBA can showcase their premier talent to millions of fans across the globe. Showcase. Hmm. Interesting word, showcase. What do fans want to see showcased? Dunks? Lobs? No-look passes, off-the-backboard passes, fancy dribbling, half-court shooting, no defending, laughing, dancing, more laughing, more no defending. Let's not forget their favorite musicians. The dancers, the pyrotechnics, and all the A-list celebrities sitting courtside ready to enjoy this epic showcase. This showcase is meant to give players a physical and mental break at the midpoint of a long and grueling season. Players can relax, knowing that for this weekend, there is nothing truly on the line. Some of these players expect to be all-stars every year. Some stars are new and just happy to be a part of the constellation. And then there are the others. The others are the players that expect to be all-star MVPs every year and look forward to dominating the expected to be all-stars as well as dominating those that are just happy to be a part of, yes, the constellation. These others don't care about showcasing for fans. They don't care to play nice. They don't care about their peers resting. They don't care about being cool or looking cool. They don't care that the other players may think they're MVP hunting. The only thing they care about is the fact that they are competing against the best basketball players in the world. And if you choose to compete, great. If you choose not to compete, then you'll be dominated in front of millions. Compete. Hmm. Interesting word, compete. The Rising Stars game is a competition. The skills competition is, well, a competition. The three-point shootout is a competition, the dunk contest is a competition, and of course, the main event is, yes, a competition. Don't get me wrong, even I enjoy laughing and showcasing from time to time, but at the heart of this weekend is competition. What can be learned from observing my peers over All-Star Weekend? What can I pick up about their practice habits, their pre-game routine, how do they think about the game and process strategy? What makes them laugh and why? What areas are they stretching? What weaknesses or injuries are hidden in this routine? I remember my first All-Star game in New York, going head to head with MJ. Ah, the days where having hair and not having hair was an option. Anyway, he torched me. Fade over his left shoulder, right shoulder, pump fake, body bump, fade. Everyone watching the game is loving the fact he has taken this cocky 19-year-old to school. But what they didn't understand is that I had a plan, a purpose. Let me explain. We had a team filled with talent that year. We had four all-stars, Nick, Eddie, Shaq, and myself. We had a serious shot at getting to the finals and facing, yep, the mighty Bulls. Guarding MJ would have eventually been my responsibility. So instead of chalking that up to the impossible, I decided to use the all-star game as a chance to learn. I wanted to see what would prompt him to fade left or right. What would cause him to feel the need to pump fake? What kind of footwork would he use? How physical was he down low? What tempo was he using? And how would he defend me? Would he give me the shot or push me in the drive? Would he be physical or choose to play the angles instead? I was determined to send him a message that if we do face you in June, you're going to be facing a 19-year-old that wants to rip your heart out. You see, for some players, this game is just a showcase for fans. 
but for others, it's a chance to study, gather information, and compete. It's a chance to prove to your peers that you are the best. Best up-and-comer, best shooter, best dunker, best player. Some stars will come into the weekend looking to relax and have a good time. A few stars will take it all in as a blessing and as a moment to cherish forever. But the other stars will come ready to shine. And in a game of stars, it is critical to study the constellation around you and see them for what they are. Shark or seal, lion or gazelle, wolf or sheep. Which one are you?